pals, I'm Silent Lilac and welcome back to Riotcraft FTB Infinity. <laughs> well, we game forever. No, the world. I mean, we could, but whatever. Anyway, today, <sighs> today's the day. Today, we are going to move everything out of this center console and hook up the hypercube. It's a little scary. <laughs> I've been putting this off for a few days because I just... It's a daunting task, and I really don't want to ruin everything, but I just got to jump in, and, you know, I haven't got any help, so I'm just going to have to <sighs> cross my fingers and hope that it works. <sighs> and I thought I'd take you along for the ride, however it may turn out. So, hopefully it will actually succeed. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay, so, first of all, let me show you what we have in this bag here. We have got... 65 plus these three, which is 68 uh, ME controllers. These have taken so long to make, just for the record. Oh my goodness. S what is that? 70 uh, ME interfaces plus the odd interface that's actually within within the system in here. So there's quite a few in there as well. Um, we also needed some... We've got 70 molecular assemblers plus, again, the ones we have already set up. We've got 24 crafting code processing units. I don't know why that didn't come out right, but it did. Never mind. 20 64K crafting storage uh, cubes, thingies. And we've got some extra end energy conduits and some item conduits and some dense cable and some glass cable. Because I'm just not really sure what it is that we're going to eventually need. Now, of course, this is also okay, taking into account all of the ones that we have within here. This is... I'm really nervous. I don't want to ruin everything. I'm really scared that it's just going to break everything. But I'm just going to have to... I don't know, maybe take some screenshots and <laughs> see whether I can fix it back up again. Um, That's got plenty of minute pulse. <sighs> but what was... It? Okay, so hang on. Oh, I'm really... I don't... It scares me. Okay, let's go up. Now, okay, so here's our beautiful energy core. Full of power. So I'm thinking we're going to spread everything around here. I've already started. I've got um, a tesseract here, and it is got this vibrant capacitor, which is full. That's cool. So that's helping power this guy here. Um, we're going to make some more of those eventually and have just a nice big power wall, like to the ceiling or something. <laughs> um, along here, we're going to have our logic presses somewhere along this side. We're also going to have a nice big old wall of the deep storage units. Uh, we're... I, Let's see what else have we got. We've got to put up the machines. So all the machines probably have their own space. I don't know, maybe over here. Um, and then it's all going to have to feed back into the hypercube, which so that we can still utilize all the um, automation that we have going. And the hypercube is based. Well, I mean, you've seen me building this based on the hypercube. <sighs> We've just got to go ahead and just do it. We've just got to do it. <laughs> it's really scary <sighs> because it means pulling everything down. And it took so long to get it to where it is now. But, nevertheless. Alright, um, so I'm going to start pulling all the marble and that down and come up with bare bones. And then I will bring you guys back. Okay, we're back. And it looks ugly. Look at that. It's like, I don't know, a factory or something? <laughs> Alright, so basically I've taken out all the marble. Shh, pixie. All the marble is now gone. Um, so we're left with bare bones, literally. Oh, this is really... <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know. Okay, um, alright. So w now the next step will be to... Oh, I don't even know. We need to break down all the... everything. So basically we'll start with all of the drives. We'll need to make an empty another bag, maybe. Or set a chest up we can put it all into. Oh, this is really... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, then, then we'll take down all the deep storage units. Thankfully they don't lose their stuff. Um, it'll be a bit of a pain to put all those together. We might leave that to the last second, really. Um, but we'll take down all of the molecular assemblers and... What am I standing on? Oh, right. <laughs> and um, the... What are these? Interfaces and stuff? And then I will bring you back. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. Okay, 
Uh, so we're using two gold chests, which for some reason I have like five of them. I'm not sure why, but whatever. They're being used. Everything is sitting in there. All of our crafting patterns and stuff are in there. And um, all the machines are in this one. The next step oh, is to take down this. Now, I'm going to have to try and memorize how I did this just to make sure I can redo it. <laughs> oh, so... You know what, I might even talk about it in right now. So, we've got the four ME interfaces on each side. And each one of them has a encoder pattern. for so the, so the silicon, and next to the inscriber, which has the silicon press, and vice versa. So then it goes uh, calculation for the calculation press. And this one, I believe, is the logic. Yep. And this one is the engineering. And each one of these has... An import bus on the front. Um, is there a, right. Import bus on the front and glass cables to all of them. Smart cables, not glass cables. Oh, uh, and then up into the dense cable. The dense cable comes along. And then here, in the export bus, we have a printed silicon thingamajiggy. It's on crafting. We have the crafting card up there. And in the front import bus there's nothing. Oh, I'm stuck. And on the back here we have an export bus. And it has redstone in it. So redstone on this one and the silicon on that one. And in the ME interface we have all three for the circuits. So the three patterns for the circuits are in this one. Oh, I hope I can remember this. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take these down. And then I will bring you back once I've sort of cleaned out more. I'm probably going to leave these here for now. Um, as they're not... I don't think they're going to interfere with the Hypercube yet. I don't... We'll see. Um, Alright, so I'll get on to that. And then I will bring you right back. Well, <laughs> there we have it. Open plan living at its finest. <laughs> Alright, so the next step to do is... Up here... Oh, whoa whoa, dizzy, uh, is to break down all this marble on the ceiling and to create our hypercube. Um, so, oh, actually, is this going to interfere? Dang, it is. Ugh. Okay, so we'll take out the glass cables from that. Um, but we'll just clear out all of this real quick. Come on. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, oops, oops. <laughs> Um, okay, so we'll take out this. So the hypercube is 7 by 7. So we need to make sure that we... Which we already do because we did it... Well, I did it. Um, when I was planning on the power ball. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. So there's nothing really left to do except make it. That is definitely in the way, so we're going to have to take out these as well. Okay, well, you know, okay. I don't know why, but look at this. Apparently glass takes a lot to break. Occasionally. I don't know why that is, but there you have it. Folks, glass, it's hard to break. Glass cable, even harder. And yet I can do a tesseract, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so now the next step is put all that stuff away, because we don't want to be carrying it right now. Up in there, up my helmet, all that stuff. This and this and then this. Alright, so in our backpack, pull out our ME controller, starting with this one. So we want one directly underneath here. Now we're going to have probably issues with power to start off with because oh, we need to be able to. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh. So we're either going to go into the floor, or we need to move our, mm, our tesseracts up. Darn. Um, okay, I'll be right back once I do that, and we'll sort this out. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so apparently disappearing tesseracts are a thing. That's just turned off. Why? I don't know. I, I don't like that it's turned off. Uh, but okay, we'll just finish this off, and then hopefully ugh, it will fix itself up. Now... Taking out, we're taking out the tesseracts. I accidentally went down the elevator and it disappeared. So I don't know. Whoa. 
Shift. There we go. Alright, so we're going to finish building this. <laughs> ah, I've lost the Tesseract. I don't know where it is. Five, six, seven. And then one, two. Oh, it's back on again. Three, four, five, oh, six. It's, well, it's already seven, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty. One, two, so that's three, four, five, six, seven. Woohoo! Okay, get down in here. And it's one, two, that's three, four, five, six, uh, seven. And then we should be able to put one jump. Oh no, not there. Oops. <laughs> Up there. There we go. Down to meet this one, like so. Woohoo! So pretty. Oh no, down, 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 and down along the floor. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Can I count? Probably not. I'm not really counting. So <laughs> that could have something to do with it. Oh, and we've run out. Okay, so uh, where's our bag going? In here, grab... Oh, there's my Tesseract! <laughs> <laughs> Disappearing, reappearing Tesseract! Where's my backpack gone? Are you serious right now? Oh, this is trippy. That's very weird. But that's okay. We have everything back now. So we should only need... One, two, three, four! Bam! Ha <laughs> ha Look at that! <gasps> that's so cool! Hmm... Well, now that's kind of a bummer. I didn't really want it to disappear. But I guess it's going to. Um. Hmm. Uh, I guess the flooring's not quite... Hmm. I really kind of wanted to have that... layer. Uh. Bum. I don't know what to do now. Mm. Maybe we shift it down one and go into the floor. Can we do that? We could do that, but is it going to work? Poop. All right. Um. All right. I'm gonna. I am. I'm gonna shift it down because I kind of like the idea of having it above the floor. So, I will do this and I will be right back. So I've moved it down and put it into the floor. Just because clearly my castle wasn't quite large enough. <laughs> I don't think I really had this in mind when I was building it. But that's okay. It's alright. Um, what I might do is sort of like, I don't know, recess it or something. You can do a lot more with the raw marble now because of the chisel mod. Um, because of the update and stuff. So I'm actually going to, I don't know, just drop the floor maybe. Drop all these. Have a bit of level depth in our in our castle floor, but that's all later. <laughs> so the next steps we do is, in our bag, we need our molecular assemblers and our Emmy interfaces, like so. Let's, oh, hang on, let's switch out. I don't like using full sacks. It's just this funny thing that I do. Anyway, so what we do now is, with our uh, Emmy interface, we put one here, and then one here, and then one here, and then one here, and then one here. <laughs> Basically every second spot like so, like that. And we do that all the sides, all the way around. And so I'll do that, and then I'll bring you back, and then I'll be the next step. Alright, so once we've got all the sides done, we take our molecular, assemb molecular assemblers and fill in all the gaps like so and once you've done this oh no nope. <laughs> shift click shift click shift click shift click you can then take your the rest of your Emmy interfaces and fill in the next letter gap like so and then the last one like that look at that <gasps> oh yeah check a board of goodness <laughs> all right so I will go ahead and fill all these in and then I will bring you back when they're done Alright, 
<laughs> the edges and the exits and the not the exits but the ed edges are all now done the sides are all now done the problem that we then run into is that we have to be able to get inside so for now uh, until I can make a elevator of some kind to get us in and out um, what we'll do is put this one just here it still works uh, and it still gives us the ability to use it it just means that we need to have a hole to be able to get in. So now I need to do the floor and then we will move on to the crafting storage. <laughs> be right back. Okie dokie. So of the ones that I had in my bag I've got two molecular assemblers and an ME interface. Spare. Plus the ones that we took out of our system from before. Look at this. It's like I'm in prison or in the cube or something. <laughs> if you've ever seen that movie you'll understand why that's funny. Um by the way, that's a that's a 18 plus movie. That is not for young peoples. <laughs> I cannot get out. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. <laughs> Jump. A little bit back. Yep. Okay. Oh no! Don't move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is why we need. And then there we go. <laughs> Swift movements with the keys. Now look at that. Looking good. Looking good. All right. The next step is go back in there. Oh, like you're an idiot. <laughs> anyway, we're going to pop these things away. Um, the marble, the thingies, and the thingies, and those thingies. So we should still have this five there. I might keep them separate because I'm not sure. I don't want to get confused. So I might put these in here for now. Yep. Just means we have extras. Alright, so the next step is to get in our crafting storage and our 64k crafting storage unit thingamajoke bobbies <laughs> into there. So I will organize all my pieces and I'll be ringing you right back. Welcome back to the heart of the hypercube. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our crafting co processing units and we're going to put them up. Oh, shit shift. Put them on each of these molecular ME interfaces, like so. And then we're going to spin around and do them on this side too. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So many of them to put down. Ta da! Alright, and then we take our, uh, what are these? 64k doobies and put them on top of. Those, like so, <laughs> and then again, like here, and then here, and you can see they change color. That means that they're all hooked up nicely and active for you when I've run out. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter because it just means that we can put some more on there. Did I have? Oh, nope, nope, don't. Oh, wait, can I click somewhere where I'm not actually? There we go. <sighs> Yep, no, okay. So clearly we need, so how many did I have? I don't even know how many I had now. We need, what do we need? Three more. But we'll have to make this at a different time because our, obviously our ME system is offline. But that's okay. <laughs> so now it's all looking pretty and all shiny and colorful. So now we can hook up our drives which are these are the actual drive casings so we'll probably put those straight up the top and we may as well line these up right on the edge like right here two three and then we're going to grab the drives themselves which are where are they where are the drives hello drives where are you hello car 54 where are you here 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 all right, get all these and that one and that one and this. One. Oh wait, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, is that? Yep. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we go back up again, and we fill this baby up. So ding 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 la 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 la. With the sound effects are totally necessary. La 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 la. <laughs> and it's all green except for that one little one, but it will shuffle itself around. So we need to make some more. Wow. Okay, cool. Alright, going back down again. And we need to get out our uh, ME Dubilakas. 
So we need to get where is uh hmm I can't find them. Where are they? Probably in this one. Uh here we go. Crafting terminal, pattern terminal, interface terminal, and oh I don't think we need these because we can just put them straight onto it. So let's just give this a go, shall we? Let's just play for yucks and giggles. Can we put them onto this, or do they have to be on the actual controller? There's the question of the century. Ready? Nope, they need to be on the... Dang, okay. That's okay. So maybe they need a cable to come out, do you think? Oops. Oops, oops, sorry! Can they go straight onto the... No? See, look how it turns itself. Alright, so we need a cable. So we need to grab a dense cable from this chest. Nope, from this chest. <laughs> nope, from my inventory. Yes! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, gosh, okay. And what we'll do is we'll run it... Let's... The three right here. I'm... No, 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 not dense cable. You know what, after... Oops. After all that, it's the wrong cable. It needs to be this one. Nope, this one. Glass cable. One, two, three, like so. Grab our pattern terminal. Can go this side. And our crafting terminal in the middle, because that's the one we use the most. And our interface terminal can go there. For now, we'll keep them here. I'm happy with this. <gasps> that looks very cool. No, it doesn't look sticky outy. Ugh. I don't like sticky outy. Um. Hmm. Alright, I really don't like that. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to play with this and see whether I can come up with a better way of doing this. And I will bring you right back if I come up with something. Okay. So, alright, we've got our interface terminal, our crafting terminal, our pattern terminal, and they're recessed inside. So I just removed two of the molecular assemblers and one of the ME interfaces. And the spare molecular assembler that is out here and I just basically kept the pattern going um, the same as what it would have been had I made it completely solid with molecular assemblers and ME interfaces so that's it there and the spare ME molecular assemblers are there so oops ah I need to get an elevator oh no don't move forward jump <laughs> oh gosh ah. okay try again ready uh oh I need a block that'll stop me. Only I have step assist, so that's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, so now it's clean. We've just got our, our, our drives over here, which will probably end up moving. I don't know that they need to be attached to it physically. Like, I think I can run a cable, so we'll see. But the test is this. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? <gasps> right click. Yes! <laughs> We've got our ME system back online baby oh yeah <laughs> oh man that was stressing me I was so nervous we now have a hypercube people look at that we totally have a hypercube online active powered happy crafting storage for days how many s let's see no crafting job active I don't even I know <sighs> All right, so basically now what I need to do is go and put back all of our um, our patterns back in here, and it will be ready to rumble, <laughs> literally. Uh, so I will do this, and I will bring you right back. Okay, so we have all of our patterns, which, let's face it, is not very many. So there's none left in here. The only ones left in here are from the logic presses, and we're not going to take those out because we're not ready to set that up yet. And then we go to our interface terminal, and we should have stacks. Look at this. Woo, yeah. Heaps and heaps and heaps of room. That's so awesome. 71 slots. Bam. So now it's just a case of putting back all the things. Uh, or not. <laughs> It's going to go a little slower than shift right clicking apparently, but that's okay. Um, so I will go ahead and put all of these back in here and 
will be ready to craft again. This why isn't that working? I don't know why this isn't working. Uh shift. Well at any rate, it's gonna take a little time, so I will bring you guys back when it's done. Okay. So um the only patterns we don't have put away um are the logic press ones. So we need to set up our logic press um automation system again. And that's okay. So all of these why is there a 64k storage cell in here? How did I miss that one? <laughs> Never mind. So we got a few spares. We could throw probably throw these in there. It's not not a big deal. There's not not a whole lot that we could yeah, I mean, we can't really do much with a 10k and a 4 no it's not even a 10k it's a 1k and a 4k <laughs> but that's okay um, so we need to put this one upstairs now the only pattern we, so where is this one goes here put our blank patterns there so that if we need to make them but oh no there whoops <laughs> but I've got to tell you check this out ready we go from not having enough space to so much that it doesn't even fill up the whole thing um, so it's time to get automating people it is time to get automation happening it is definitely a thing that we need to do because it's awesome and oh there's a hole in my ground that's weird I missed that obviously um, <laughs> alright but basically now that we've got this going and it's done uh, that's it for today <laughs> effectively um, I will probably, I need to come up with some way, actually, actually, maybe you can help me. What I need to do is get all of this stuff, all right, smelted. <laughs> so I'm going to make some smelting arrays and some sag mill arrays. That's the other thing. I knew there was something else I needed to say. Up in this system, up on this wall, so that we can have like a totally machined out tower. It's going to be the power tower. Ha <laughs> ha. The power tower. <laughs> Um, and all of our machinery is going to go along these walls and we're going to... Are we charging back up again? Is that going up? Are you going up? You're sitting steady. You know what? Steady is better than draining, so I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, so all of our sag mills and whatnot and so on, uh, alloy smelters and so forth, need to come up here and we need to set up a system. But the biggest thing is I need to work out how to get all of this... No... What am I trying to do? I'm to, I know what's wrong because if I look in here, I look at this ore. <sighs> There's a lot of ore that needs to be, come back out of the system so that it can be smelted because that's 56,686 tin ore blocks. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. We need to work, we need to, we need to get a system going. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of research, look at some videos, um, and see if I can come up with something to fix it. Now, if you are curious about the Hypercube and some more information on it or where it actually came from, it actually is Zerg's design. Now, he has got his going. His is looking really cool with all the grass coolness around the edges and stuff and so on. If you want to, um, there is a tutorial, which I will put on a card on the screen right now, up there. <laughs> and I will also put a link in the description below because it is really, really good. It's his creation story, uh, sorry, his creation tutorial series, um, and it is totally worth it. He, uh, full credit where credit is due, he designed this, he created it, and it is epically awesome. And it is totally worth going and checking out his channel. So please do do that. <laughs> do do that? Do do that. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to say that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> but um, yes. I'm feeling very uh, successful <laughs> and satisfied that it's actually worked and I'm a little bit over the moon. Yay! Because all of this has totally worked and everything is functional and I can't even tell you how nervous I was and how much better I feel now that it's done. Yay! <laughs> ah, so if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to plant a lilac on that like button. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and become a petal to help our garden grow. Share it around with your friends and spread the love. The lilac love. <laughs> ah, please check out the other members of the Riot Craft crew. Please check out the other members of the Riot Craft crew. Their links are in the description below. Especially Zogs. I'll put his at the top so that you can get to it nice and easy. 
Um, but until next time, uh, where we will we will start on our automation again <sighs> and some other stuff. Until next time, this is Silent Lilac signing off. Bye. <laughs>